This video is sponsored by World of Warships. <laughs> Lots of people feel the pain when starting a very mediocre anime. It just wasn't worth your time to invest into, but luckily for you, I've searched deep down to get you all some underrated good anime series that are worth your time. If you haven't seen these anime, just be aware of any spoilers, but hopefully the timestamps should help you out. Sit back, relax, and let us begin. Ever wondered what it feels like to become completely immortal? Well, in the case of the protagonist having the sort of power and also a very dark childhood, things get pretty interesting in Kimono Jaihen. This is a show that's really damn good, but more on the underrated side of the things. It delivers extremely well on the monster cases with mystery elements combined with insane action and also development. It's a show I really appreciate a lot when I first watched it, and having finished it, I can definitely say without a doubt that it is worth your time for sure. Before we continue with the video, a quick word from today's sponsor and that is World of Warships. This is a free-to-play naval warfare theme game where you choose between different battleships and go to war against other players real-time and battle it out in the open sea. Though the biggest announcement for the game is their recent collaboration with Azur Lane, which I will talk about right now. Azur Lane returns to World of Warships in its sixth wave. This collaboration introduces brand new premium ships, commanders and skins to enhance your naval battles. Brand new commanders like Shimakaze and Hornet, each with full voice packs and the new Azur lane themed ships and skins available for you to buy. The game also has an upgrade to graphics to match Azur lane battleships so you can look epic and style on your enemies in battle. Play solo or team up with your friends in Azur lane ships and live the thrill of battle. Also, the game is available on consoles, both Xbox and PlayStation, which you can download for free. Click that link in the description to download World of Warships right now for free. And don't forget to use my promo code that you see on screen to get 7 days of premium account, 1.5 million credits, and 600 doubloons and one Azure Lane container for free. Link is in the description, and don't forget to use that promo code when you register. Now, let's get back to the video. I feel like this anime really doesn't get the love it truly deserves. Sports anime really isn't popular by any means at all, but here we're talking about Hinomaru Sumo. <laughs> This is a sumo wrestling anime of an underdog who looks weak, short, unskilled to proving his might in the ring against much bigger and tougher looking opponents. I genuinely love it. It, it really just teaches you that you shouldn't always pick on the weaklings because things backfire quick and the sumo matches are quite intense, I tell you. This is an anime that I'm really glad I gave a chance. To your eternity. Now this anime here, my god, it has risen in popularity at the very beginning when it first aired, but as time went on, less and less people really showed interest or talked about it less. This anime truly does wonders through its creativity unlike anything, beautiful storytelling and strong characters, though just a heads up, don't get too attached to them so easily. I'm really talking about the characters actually. Essentially, it's about a small orb that can transform into things that it comes into contact with, more specifically when they die. It's taken the name of Fushi and explores a vast world, meets new people, and takes on dangerous creatures who cause a threat to him and also society. This here is one of those series that doesn't get enough love, an extremely well fleshed out sci-fi mystery series of two characters searching for heaven while living in the outside world filled with dangerous monsters roaming around. <laughs> Fifteen years ago, dangerous, mad-eating monsters roamed the earth, and to keep people or children safe, a special facility was built like an orphanage to keep children away from the outside world. Though as information begins to spread across, their curiosity of the outside world grows even stronger. <laughs> Yeah, that's the 
To me, you know, Grimgar will always be a top tier isekai. The greatest aspect of this anime is how realistic it portrays characters to real life, meaning all the characters are normal, weak human beings going up against powerful monsters. Even a single goblin can cause a threat if the characters really aren't working together to fight it. They must learn teamwork, come up with strategies, and find a way back home alive instead of getting killed out there in this fantasy world. I'd say watch this, in, uh, really, truly, enjoy it and get the feeling of what it's like being a weak human being like we all are. Now we're moving on to a special highlight from 2023, a show that many people skipped on and passed by, as they haven't realized how amazing this beautiful romance anime truly was since they didn't give it a chance, but I'm glad I did. <laughs> My Happy Marriage is a dark but romantic storyline of a girl named Mio who is treated harshly by her family because she is born without any special power. She became a housemaid and later on sent off to be married to what everyone said is a cruel man. But it turns out that this man was kind-hearted, very warming, and gave Mio the life that she truly deserves. And all of that while combining some pretty sick action moments in magic power down the line. But enough of me talking, just go watch it already. Are you feeling hungry? Well, <laughs> make sure you eat before watching this anime be because it's really just all about cooking and food. Delicious in Dungeon is a dungeon exploration anime about characters going around, feeding monsters, and making food out of their organs or parts, which turn out to be super delicious. It's more focused on the slice of life aspect, but overall, the characters having a good time, enjoying their meals with quality animation on the food looking so good. It's also made by Studio Trigger, so you surely won't be disappointed with what they have to offer on the table. It truly is unbelievable how many people underestimate the show to this day. It may have an art style different from your usual anime or it may look childish, but it's one of the best underrated anime to watch. <laughs> Ranking of Kings is a journey of a young prince who is destined to be king after his father passed away. The one thing people don't really appreciate is that Boji is deaf. How can a king be like that? He's not worthy of a leader, right? Well, it so happens that he will actually go on an adventure or on a journey to become the strongest for people to look up to him as king. Now, you don't often see anime originals without a source material do amazing, but when it comes to Wit Studio and their experience creating banger anime, you honestly really can't go wrong with this one. Vivi Florite's Eye Song, beautiful animation, crisp and clean quality, a show about music and action combined together, AI or robots and humankind live together, and one particular AI girl named Vivi who specializes in singing, she wants her voice to reach people, though when a time comes of her going back in time to stop a big war from happening, that's when things are about to go down, baby. <laughs> Finally, to recommend the last anime on today's video list, Summertime Render easily takes the spot as a big anime that's underrated because of it being locked behind Disney jail. Shinpei returns home after hearing about Yushio's sudden death, but he never expected there to be strange incidents going on on the island. Whenever he dies, he resets to a certain point to try his luck once more. It's a very special power he needs to use extremely wisely to fight against the shadows, monsters who wish to consume the island. However, one shadow actually turns out to have the form of Yushio, and together they plan to fight against the shadow army and stop them at all costs. Thank you all so much for watching all the way to the very end. As always, subscribe if you did enjoy, and let me know down below which underrated anime you enjoyed your time with. Thanks for watching, and I'll be catching you all in the next one.